Hey, welcome back guys. In previous tutorial we talked about how to collect coins in Unity. Now we are going to talk about how to attract coins in Unity from a particular distance. Uh, this type of effect you see in many games where the power up gets automatically drawn towards the player. As you can see this is a scene from the previous tutorial. If you haven't seen the tutorial I have the link in the description. This scene has 4 walls made of simple planes, some directional lights, a gold coin made of cylinder and a cube. That is our player. And a player movement script is attached to the player so that it moves with the WASD keys. When I hit play as you can see when the player moves towards the coin and hits it the coin gets collected. You can also download the starting file to follow along with the tutorial. As always links are in the description. So first select the coin and right click on it and create an empty game object. Rename the empty game object to attractor cause this game object will attract gold coin towards the player. Now drag attractor out of gold coin in the hierarchy and make gold coin the child of attractor. We did this step so that the empty game object gets the same position as of the coin. Now add a component to attractor, add component sphere collider, set it as a trigger and increase the radius to something big because this will be the area in which if the player gets into the coin get attracted towards player and I will set it little bit bigger so that the area will be bigger now that looks good now make a C sharp script and name it attractor script attach it to our attractor game object now double click it to open it up in the visual studio First of all I will delete everything in the attractor script class and write on trigger stay. Now this function gets active for the duration for which any other game object is staying in the collider area. That's why we have created a sphere collider with a big radius. So whenever our player enters the sphere collider anything that is written in the function gets activated. Now the coin will not get attracted towards every game object. That's why we will check if the game object that is entering the collider is player or not. So if other dot compare tag is player then make the coin go towards player. That is we have to send the coin from its current position to the player position. So transform dot position is equal to vector 3 dot move towards. Now move towards is a function and it takes three values. Current position, final position and speed. So current position is transform position. Final position is position of the player that is other dot transform dot position and we will give a speed variable attractor speed public float attractor speed and multiply the attractor speed by time dot delta time to make it frame rate independent now save the script and go back to unity give a value to attractor speed something like 10 now hit play and as soon as i go in the attractor radius the coin will get attracted towards the player and gets collected but as you can see we have a problem that the attractor game object is not destroying and is following the player so to fix that go back to script write update function and in the update function check if attractor has any child or not that is if transform dot child count is less than one then destroy the game object now we will save the script and when i hit play now as soon as the coin gets destroyed the attractor game object also will get destroyed that is because the attractor game object is checking if it has any child or not if it has a child it is not getting destroyed and if it doesn't have a child that is the child count is less than one that is zero then it will get destroyed like the video if you like the format of it and also subscribe to my channel as i upload videos frequently thanks for watching this is repix media